Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom with eight kiddos. Our oldest is 15 um, and our youngest is 11, like 11 and a half months. Um, if you have been around here for any period of time and you have wondered why I have not uploaded, um, that is what this video is for. Um, it is kind of a life update, I just wanna you know, just like throw some stuff at you about what's been going on, um, which I kind of did a little bit, um, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me um, until everything just kind of smooths out a little bit. Um, the main reason why um, I have not uploaded like super recently was because we just got finished with a hurricane. Um, that was intense. There are still people without power. Um, we went about three days without power and that um, was intense. Um, and so obviously schedules and things just got pushed to the back burner and just a lot of our normal got just crazy shaken up. And so um, that was kind of my main um, reason was just the chaos of a hurricane when you live on the Gulf um, in Texas. It is kind of unpredictable. It was one of those things where it's just a category one, um, but then at the last minute it decides to kind of like take a turn into the area where we live. And so we were somewhat prepared as prepared as you know, we usually are, but we weren't prepared for a direct hit, which is pretty much what it was. Um, so I kind of wanted to give an update about that. Um, like I said, it's been, I think a few weeks since, um, I have had an upload go up and I actually haven't filmed in a while. And so, um, I haven't even had a chance to get like curriculum going for the school year, um, the upcoming school year. Now, um, on that note, um, a little bit of an update with how our school is going and how it's kind of transitioned um, differently this year. So I have always been a like clear cut summer vacation, summer break um, kind of homeschooler. And I really like the kind of uh, cut off between one grade to the next and that like chunk of summer. However, um, it kind of this year has turned into like a more of a year round um, for this year. And I have to say, um, I'm not super upset about it. And I really thought I would be, um, just because I'm really trying to like cross all my T's and dot all my I's and and um, really make sure that I kind of wrap it up with a bow. And in order to do that, we had to just extend a little bit. And again, I'm okay with that, but it also kind of brought this weird thought to my mind of maybe a year round homeschool, but not like 100% continuous. And because I did not think of this and I didn't experience this in the middle of the school year, I wasn't taking like the, you know, specified breaks that a lot of year round homeschoolers do. And I think the reason that people year round, homeschool year round and what they do to kind of compensate for not taking a full like summer break is that they take, um, you know, little chunks in the year and little chunk breaks in the year. And um, that is kind of what I think might end up working. And, you know, this is going, we're going on year seven. And um, to say that in year seven is kind of crazy to me. But in a weird way, it really um, has helped with like not having that weird summer where, you know, your kids are bored, but you know, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money doing like indoor stuff that just, I'm not a huge like indoor stuff person. I'm not, I'm not a huge museum fan. 
I'm not like, if I'm going to spend money on something, I really want it to be like, I don't want it just to fill my time and fill their time just for the sake of doing something. Um, and I don't know, I mean, there are, I'm sure there are certain exhibits that my kids would like, but I think for the most part, like, they're just a lot more active <laughs> than a museum. Um, and, you know, if you like museums and your kids love museums, great. Um, I feel like my kids are just so active that um, a museum without a specific um, exhibit that they really want to see just might kind of bore them a little bit. Um, and so I'm not like super into like all the indoor stuff and I'd rather be outside and I'd rather be doing things outside and, and getting, you know, having them get all that energy out. Um, and so, and I don't like to spend like a hundred dollars for them to be inside to do something just for the sake of them being inside to do something because it's summer and what else are you going to do? Um, and so something that I've kind of experienced this summer is, is the less school but still school. Um, and in a weird way, I've kind of enjoyed that. Um, and that kind of brings me to, to my next, um, kind of reason for, for slacking off here for lack of a better term. Um, but that I'll get to in a second, but I just, I don't know. It was a weird thing that just happened accidentally. Um, and I don't mean accidentally as in like, I didn't know what was going on, but the fact that some of my kids needed a little bit more time than your typical um, school year, and because the workload for high school is intense and it's a lot, and if you really don't keep up with it all the time, um, you know, even when you have a doctor's appointment or even when you have a small break or even, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I'm babbling now, but I just think that that might be in our future and um, taking smaller breaks because really my kids have not had a huge issue with trickling school through into the summer, um, which I really thought that my older kids might, but it really hasn't been that bad. Um, and so that's kind of on my list of things to reevaluate and see if that's something that I want to do because if it is then I need to really look into what, how my, how our breaks are going to be split up, um, in the year. Um, and I'm not saying I go from literally all the way through to the exact end of summer and then start right back again. I want there to be a little break, but a two month break or a two and a half month break or a three month break, however long your breaks are. Um, I'm just wondering, is it necessary and do you have to, because then you have to pick back up and you have to, okay, well, where did we leave off? Okay, and especially for my younger kids, do you remember what we were learning? Do you remember? Well, no, that was two and a half months ago. Okay, and now I got to recap again. Um, and just kind of this like very light transition into the next grade, but not like two and a half months of nothing. Um, and I don't mean nothing because we wouldn't be doing like workbooks or anything like that. But if I say it's summer and we're not doing any schoolwork, um, then giving my kids workbooks is my younger kids at least is not going to fly. Um, and so I kind of have to pretend like, well, we're not completely done with school. We're just not doing as much. Um, and then that gives us also a little bit more time to spread it out without just the stress of like, okay, you know, it's, it's beginning of May and, and we're not, you know, we're not where we should be. Um, and yeah, so it's just kind of been on my mind and, um, especially with this summer and it's, it's worked in our favor, oddly enough. And so I'm just kind of back and forth about that, but, um, stay tuned for that because I'm not, I'm not 100%, but I am, I, if I can figure out how to, you know, put breaks in and do things that way, then that might be in our future. Um, okay. And also, obviously I did a video not long ago, um, that I started a, um, work from home position in the vet industry, which I am still thrilled about doing. I am count my blessings every day. 
Um, the schedule is kind of varies week to week. I don't always work five days a week. Um, it's a morning to like lunchtime. So there's like a full two, two and a half hours where my kids aren't even up. And so that just really, it all just really works in my favor. It is, it is a blessing to be able to do this and to still, um, be a part of the veterinary world without having to leave my home. It is absolutely an ideal job for me and I am so thrilled and so thankful for it. Um, we have gotten into more of a routine with, um, you know, me doing that and um, my oldest daughter for the most part kind of taking over. Now I'm upstairs and so I can open the door if I need to or anything like that. But for the most part, my oldest daughter kind of taking the rein and while I'm up there. Um, and so that has been amazing. Yes, I do pay her some. So um, she's not doing it for free. Although she said she would, I'm not going to let her do it for free. I'm going to give her some allowance for that um, because that's a big undertaking. And so um, that I, we have, we have gotten into a rhythm, I think. Um, and you know, it's, it's just, it's been a learning curve at first, the first few weeks. Um, but we've really kind of gotten used to the schedule and it's just really worked really, really well. Um, so again, I appreciate your patience, um, for sometimes if I don't upload consistently every week or every other week, um, know that videos are coming. I'm just kind of still trying to juggle all of the things. Um, I am, like I said, going to um, let you guys know how I do that with um, schedules and with their school and how I'm going to navigate that once we officially start back into the next school year. Um, I do still have a little bit of time. So I think by that time we really will have a good routine down and everybody will kind of know what's expected. Um, but at the same time, I am going to have something so that they can look at and know what they're supposed to do every day. So um, more to come on that as well. In case you are a work from home mom, um, I am no expert, obviously. I am just beginning at this. I'm just starting this and navigating all of this. So, um, you know, with eight kids and um, just making sure that everybody does what they're supposed to do and still, you know, me doing what I need to do. And um, it just, it just, the timing couldn't be better as far as the hours of this job. So again, super thankful, super blessed. But again, I appreciate your um, patience with sometimes my uploading consistency um, with this. Um, again, I am going to be um, getting these orders in. I'm trying to do kind of little by little for the curriculum. And um, I think, you know, like I said, we pretty much know what we're doing. There were a couple things that my daughter was trying to decide on for a couple of her subjects. And I think those might be a little bit in question, but for the most part, I think um, we know what we're going to do. So it's just a matter of ordering. And I never really have a good rhyme or reason for how I order. It's just either I'll order from one company, like what everybody needs from the good and the beautiful or what everybody needs from Amazon. But a lot of times I'll split it up just by grade, um, and by kid and what, um, you know, okay, my oldest needs this. Let's start with this. This is the piece that I really want to get first. And I want to get my hands on that first and show you guys. And, you know, I kind of do it that way too. Like, well, you guys haven't seen me do a flip through or haven't seen me do a particular curriculum piece on this channel if it's something new to me. Um, and so I want to kind of give you guys a heads up as far as what that is like. Um, yeah. And what else? What else have we done? Um, oh, well, um, my fitness kind of journey and health journey. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stay consistent with the exercising and the working out and for my heart health and for just my overall well-being and to live as long as I can and to make sure, you know, I can just feel good every day. Um, I have made a video a while back about how I know that I'm done having kids. I will link that. Um, and you know, a lot of times like close to the one year mark, people are like, Oh, now I really feel like I want to have another kid. Um, what I said in the video is how I still feel now. Um, and again, that is a 
blessing to me, um, you know, in a weird way because it is exactly what I needed. Um, and I feel, um, I feel a lot of peace and a lot of just like finality and, um, I think getting the job that I, that I just got, um, kind of helps to kind of get that ball rolling because it's something that like is a part of me pre-kids um, and while well, I had kids, but but only probably one or two kids at the time. Um, and then I stayed at home after that, but um, it is something that kind of like is mine that I love doing. I love being in the veterinary world. I love using my brain, using my knowledge and all of that, um, having been a vet tech and, um, it's just something that I enjoy, that I love so much. And so um, it just kind of came at the right time because again, it was something that I can call my own, um, but still be at home. Um, and so anyway, I still feel the same way. I, like I said, I will link that video. Um, I still feel the same way. I feel like I'm excited for the future and for, um, you know, I don't want to say not being pregnant because I always loved being pregnant until having my last one and having really my, well, I don't want to say my last two, my, my second to last one was scary, but my last one was very scary and not having to worry about that um, again. And so again, as I always say, God has these funny ways of like having you go through things and then you're like, okay, God, I get it. Like now I get it. Um, or it, it kind of puts things into perspective. Um, now, with that being said, I really haven't like sat down and, and really dwelled on the fact that I'm not gonna have any more babies, um, but it's okay because I don't need to, because I am okay where I'm at. I don't need to sit there and sulk in the corner um, because I'm okay with that. Like I have eight healthy children. I cannot ask for a thing more um, and so that, I mean, that's, that's just, that's just how I feel about that. And so, um, I was going to make a second video and I might still, but, um, that's kind of an update on that because I know kind of hitting that one year mark, sometimes people are like, okay, like <laughs> I thought I was done and now my baby's about to be one and that makes me really sad and yeah, I'm not done. Um, I don't feel that. And I have felt that with like every one before. So again, my sense of peace is, um, is I don't really have words for it because I've never felt that before because I've never felt um, done. And I've never felt um, that I can finally like breathe and not have to worry about, you know, okay, well, the timing of, of being pregnant at this time, well, that's not going to work. And you know, what if I go into labor and we're here and we're, I don't have to think about that. Um, so that is that, um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else that I, um, I don't think there's really much else since the last upload. Um, I do, switching up things with my oldest um, in his curriculum for 10th grade. I have a, I actually, I think on my last video where I talked about his curriculum, I think we were gonna stick with BJU for science. Um, and I'm kind of back and forth about that actually um, because I've also seen videos on Apologia and um, that seems like something that I am interested in pursuing for him. It is still biology it is still um, the same concept it's still um, I don't know yet if I'm going to do video lessons or if it's just going to be the book only um, I'm leaning more towards that um, but that's going to be a change just because it's going to be what the subject that he would be doing regardless it's just a possible different curriculum that I'm going to be using um, again, if that's what I decide when I get that in, I will do the video on that. So that will be coming. Um, we are about to um, go out of town for, um, my oldest has a Taekwondo tournament where he's testing 
um, for his fourth degree level two black belt. Um, and so he can only test now once a year. And so pretty much we have to go wherever the tournament is. Um, that is the only trip that we're taking this year just because work stuff. And um, I did have a bigger trip planned in my head and thankfully we didn't do that because there was actually like a big blizzard at that time and um so i'm glad we ended up not doing that god knew what he what was going on then uh when <laughs> when we were like mm, we're not gonna be able to do that this summer um but i am planning early for next summer in the hopes of doing a um trip that i've wanted to do for a while and um anyway so this is this video just a lot of blabbering but i just kind of wanted to give you guys um an update on things and that i am still here i am still going to be giving you videos it is just the hurricane issue that we had has set me back and um getting into the swing of things with work and um has set me back a little bit but now that i'm kind of like i can breathe again um and i feel a little bit back to normal a lot back to normal um once i start getting those curriculum pieces in like i said i will be doing the videos and um just look for more videos coming so hey i'm still here don't worry stick around um please um and um, we will talk soon if you have any questions or anything you want me to go into um in depth more let me know down below and otherwise we will see you next time take care